Today I had the opportunity to go diving on historical sites out in Key West with my friends. It's an amazing site filled with life, but more importantly, filled with history. When uh, about 30 miles out into the Gulf, did some wreck diving on some uh, ships that were sunk in World War II back in 1942. Sturgeon's here and gunboard <laughs> lock of Basilica are here. Unless I got a so holy eye. He can't get under cap. Joe Weatherby and Joe Berg were talking about all these great wrecks out in the Gulf and never really made the track down there and because I've heard about the history of these World War II wrecks out there and what was out there and I heard there was just insane fish life. So uh, when you get out there, there take a knife, there's lots of mon monofilament, there are lots of Goliath grouper. Listen, because when you get down there you can hear them boom and you can hear the gills slapping together. The, the wreck has been wire drug, it's in great big pieces tournament, and it's very silty. Now, if we get out there and nobody's whipped it up too bad, we could be anywhere from eight feet of visibility to 30. All the fish come for protection from predators, shelter. They're looking for food and a little bit of loving. And then I'll, and I'll drop on another one. Jordan. Yeah. There's like four big spots out here, okay? Yep. All right, now look. We're going to drop on one right here. Your anchor up. You go to my numbers and anchor up on that big spot, right? There's one, yeah, right. Just find the big spot. There's nothing else out here but this rack. All right. Find the big spot, drop your hook into it. Then when we get the boat set, we can swim back and forth between them. We went out there today to see this life and these wrecks delivered. Not a lot of people make it out to these wrecks because there's a good little trek out there. The amount of fish life was insane. We were actually able to go out to take a look at the marine life that we've heard oh so great things about. And I was able to bring home breakfast, lunch, and dinner. The Gulf of Mexico and the Atlantic meet right here at the Florida Keys. The Florida Keys are actually the line between the two. These big famous bodies of water have shipwrecks all over down here. The Gulf wrecks are up in the Gulf of Mexico north of the reef where the shrimp trawlers work. So there's not a lot of habitat up there for fish. These wrecks represent like a uh, like a hotel in the old west this is my first time out in the um, a gulf and i was very surprised at the wrecks out there on the atlantic side the water often goes very clear 200 feet of visibility plus sometimes in the gulf of mexico a really clear day is about 50 feet so it's a little more limited however these wrecks are the only game in town for marine life and they tend to be crowded with big fish sharks Goliath grouper, permit, nurse sharks, turtles, snapper, sharks, rays, dolphin, huge hogfish, tons of life, schools of Atlantic spade fish, great game fish. It was incredible the life that we saw. We went to two sites that went down during World War II in 1942. At the beginning of World War II, the U.S. government placed a minefield north of Key West to protect the approaches. Uh, within about three weeks of each other, four giant ships hit mines because they didn't know they were there and sank north of Key West. Today, we selected the Edward Lukenbach, which was a 456-foot freighter loaded with one-sixth of the world's tungsten when she sank. The wreck is laid open like this with the boilers in the middle and giant fish live all throughout the wreck. It's a labyrinth. It was amazing to see the mangled wreck from a minefield. And it looks a lot like a blooming onion. Even though the ship was heavily salvaged, you can see the bones of her. We came back with artifacts 
artifacts from a merchant ship that went down during World War II. The Basilica uh, has, has a kind of a crazy pedigree. It was owned by the British, it was owned by the uh, Norwegian government, and it was also owned by the Yugoslavians. When she sank in the minefield out with the rest of them, she sank with a cargo of medical supplies. Carrying medical supplies back to the United States from Italy, caught in this mangled mess of minefields off of our coast in the Keys. And if you look around the wreck of the Basilica, I don't know what kind of medicines used to be in these bottles, but these are not like medicines come in, uh, the containers that they come in today. These are artifacts out there that are scattered over the bottom, along with 50 years of marine growth. A little known fact in the Gulf that people don't realize when they're diving things like the Vandenberg. It's a little bit farther to go, but there's artifacts that are still out there. Very exciting to dive. A lot of history I heard uh, today about them, and I really loved it. I recommend everyone to get out there because it's amazing, not just doing a dive, but when you go down there and know what happened to these wrecks, it brings that whole dive to life for you in a whole different way that you usually just don't experience. I really recommend you getting into diving if you're not and if you are a diver I recommend you come to Key West and visit all these tremendous wrecks that we have and enjoy the salt life. Just something really cool to experience that you know most people don't ever see. Uh, it just really lent itself to truly understanding the history of Key West and especially with our relations and sometimes tense relations with Cuba and the Soviet Union. It just made it that much more interesting and we could all talk about the history and research it before we go and dive the wreck. It was a spectacular dive day. We had sushi, we had lionfish, they're, they're, they're out there as well. And we came back with a couple of little samples of the artifacts.